chances are if you celebrate Taco Tuesday, you probably also celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, it's always the day after Star Wars Day, you know, May the 4th be with you. And anyway, the day before what? The day before what? Cinco de Mayo? How long have we worked together? Two. Too long? Your birthday. Yes. Kristen de Mayo. Kristen de Mayo. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, well, the force is strong with her and with our own AJ Sabine when it comes to finding the best food and fiestas. See what I did there? And that's exactly what he did in this edition of Feasting on Agriculture. Feasting on Agriculture with AJ Sabine is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks, I'm AJ Sabine and thank you for joining us for another Feasting on Agriculture. This month, we're in Shreveport where we're celebrating Mexican heritage and culture during Cinco de Mayo at my personal favorite, Key Mexico. Joining us now is chef and owner of Key Mexico, Rodrigo Mondragon. Yes. And Chef, thank you so much. I know you're busy today. We're celebrating Mexican heritage and culture here at Key Mexico. How important is it to partner with farmers to get the ingredients for your tacos and other entrees? Everything tastes way better with, with uh, local ingredients and happy animals, like uh, I like to call them. In Mexico, uh, a lot of the places where you live, you is a farmer's market every day. So you're used to that. And the more that we do like we did in Mexico, the better for us. You guys are super busy today, of course, the Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. What do you have planned for folks here today? Well, a bunch of stuff. We have eight bands lined up. It starts at noon. Uh, we also have uh, our regular menu inside the restaurant, as well as uh, special items here outside. We have uh, smoked brisket tacos that our friends from uh, H HB barbecue are helping us do. Mm -hmm. They're doing an alligator too. That's crazy. First time we do it, but we'll see how it goes. And as well as uh, our signature signature cocktail, the Calabrita, which is kind of like a margarita, but of course with our own touch. Uh, three different kinds of citrus and a touch of a uh, grapefruit soda. That well, uh, I, I don't know about you, but that has already made me hungry. Uh, I'm already hungry too. Let's go. <laughs> uh, in the words of my fellow. Uh, Mexican and Latin American friends. Vamanos, muchacho. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chef, let's get started. What we got? So we're going to use a uh, corn tortilla. We're going to heat it up a little bit. And this is, this is our chopped brisket that we uh, <clears throat> we smoked outside with uh, our friends over there. So is that uh, a mixture of the fat and the lean? Yeah, yeah, we're just chopping the whole thing, so give it a little bit more flavor and uh, juiciness, of course. So we're gonna put a little bit on the... How the popular is your Cinco de Mayo celebration? Well, it's been, it's been getting really popular. Uh, we don't do the typical uh, celebration that every other restaurant does with, you know, the sombreros and the ponchos and all the Mexican stuff. Right. We make it more like a music and food fest. You know, Cinco de Mayo is not real Mexico's Independence Day. No, it's not. It's more... Uh, it's a celebration of cultural and, and heritage. Definitely. So uh, we like to, uh, you know, just make it different, like everything else we do. Well, I'm ready to enjoy these tacos. I don't know about you, man. Yeah, let me keep it a little bit. What I love about your, your cuisine, Chef, is such like the, the cuisine that I could find on the streets of Mexico City. You know, everything yeah. is cooked fresh right in front of you, and you can, it's hand food. You know, I can walk and talk and eat at the same time. Yeah, a lot of our uh, food is uh, definitely influenced by the Mexico City street style tacos. Mm -hmm. uh, but my brother, which is the chef chef, I am just here the, the image, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he creates a bunch of uh, modern style Mexican cooking. My mom behind you. Lido? Uh, yeah, Lido. She has all the 100% Mexican uh, style cooking. You like think your typical. mother will adopt me? Yeah, probably. But you have, you have to hold tight. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so our tortilla is hot. Uh, this is the secret of a corn tortilla, of a good taco. The tortilla needs to be really hot mm -hmm. because it breaks and it tastes bad. So right. you need to get it really hot. Yeah. We put the brisket on top. And then we're gonna put this uh, habanero 
pineapple and tomatillo salsa. Oh, that it's sounds a, wonderful. It has a good kick, but it's definitely really tasty. And then a little bit of cilantro, onions, and finally, microgreens that we get from uh, Mahaffey Farms here in town. Oh, great. Yeah, besides, look, they look pretty. They add a great uh, taste to it. Folks, when we get back, we're gonna taste this wonderful taco. Plus, Chef Rod has a wonderful signature cocktail. Stick around, we'll be right back. We are back, folks. Thank you so much for sticking around. We are here with Chef Rodrigo Mondragon here at Key Mexico Restaurant, my favorite place in Shreveport. Chef, tell folks what is in this beautiful, beautiful taco. Well, it's a slow smoked brisket, and then we chop it. Uh, we put cilantro, onions, and we finish it with um, microgreens from uh, one of our local, local farms. And most importantly, the salsa that we have in there. It's a tomatillo, pineapple, and habanero salsa. Now, is this your brother Elizar's? Is this his recipe? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I cook sometimes, but him and my mom are the, the masterminds in the, in the kitchen. Your mother, Lito, is absolutely yes. wonderful. Thank absolutely you. wonderful. Well, you know, folks, you know what time it is? Time to Do eat. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> they know what time it is. You know, this is the favorite part of the Feasting on Agriculture segment. It's the, the tasting. While I get down on this, tell folks how they can get down with Key Mexico. Well, we are in Shreveport, Louisiana, 3839 Gilbert Drive. Um, mm. We have our Facebook page, Key Mexico, and then our Instagram page, Key Mexico Soul Food. All you guys need to do is come here to Shreveport, if not for this taco. This is absolutely amazing. And you also have a nice surprise for us. What is in this cocktail? This is our signature cocktail, uh, a calaverita. It has a good tequila, a mm. good amount of tequila, three yep. different citrus, uh, fresh squeeze, of course, li lemon, lime, and orange, and then uh, uh, hibiscus syrup, and we finish it with a touch of uh, grapefruit uh, soda. So you know today is Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> you got a little bit of tequila in here? Just uh, more than a little bit, just a little bit more, more. Just a touch? Yeah. <laughs> and look, I don't know if you notice this, folks, the glass is actually tilted. Yeah. When, when Chef Rodrigo brought this out, I thought I was already drunk, because the thing is already, <laughs> it's already leaning like this. Everybody but, thinks the same. <laughs> oh man, this looks good. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. It's the hibiscus that makes it. Yeah. Well, on behalf of everyone here in Shreveport at Key Mexico, Chef Rodrigo's staff, we want to thank you all for joining us. And we'd like to hear from you. If you know of a place that's farm to table here in Louisiana that you think we should feature on Feasting on Agriculture, go on to our website and let us know, twilighttv.org. We'll see you next time. Gracias. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner.